Cool. All right. So this video is going to be very non-technical. Just making a park. Just I don't know. Just very relaxed. I feel like I should have some music playing. Maybe you know. Just 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 I don't know. Just just you gotta gotta. It's really understand how things are going to work in the context of you know like say working in a team, making an actual game. It's good to actually use real assets. You know, cubes and planes can only get us so far. All right. So how I'm going to do that? I'm just going to create a new scene and worry about the technicalities uh, uh, in the next video. I'm going to save this scene as uh, just portal test. Tester. I really, I, really should, I really should create a folder for my scenes. Portal test. And, and I will rename it to portal test. Okay. And I'll jump it in there. All right. And also, we're going to save this scene. I always got to remember, like, I'm used to auto save. I don't think that's really a thing with scenes. So, I've got to remember to save it and go save as, uh, we're going to call it park. All right, so I'm just going to go to the asset store. Please feel free to use whatever whatever imagination based uh, assets you feel like it. You know, there's a really good space space asset package, and <clears throat> I don't know, maybe you want to have like a little creatures around or something like that. Um, you know, a little time for that. I, I one of the things I really want to do soon is a creature a creature of uh, AR creatures. You know, start to get some. Some, some things moving around in our scenes, but that'll be for another time. Okay, so we're going to the 3D models. I'm gonna go hit that uh, free only button. And we're gonna go to environments. Now on the second page, there's a, uh, there's a particular package that I found just really easy to work with, this low poly park. It's just like, yeah, very, very nice, very nice, uh, nice set of assets. So we can just go ahead and import that. And that, yeah, that's going to bring it all into our scene and give us something to work with. Maybe not, maybe not as detailed as this one, but yeah, we'll, we'll make something. Yeah, I'm just jump my, my view back. Once it loads, all right. How's that? Okay, beautiful. I uh, won't be needing a console. Close the console. Won't be needing the game view. Close that also. Okay, so in assets. I'm not really going to be really working with the prefabs in this video. But let's grab a grass tile. Let's have like a big old, big old. Oh, I almost press a complete reset. Remember, often, often our our assets are imported from 3D modeling programs, so these rotations need to remain as they are. But I will reset the position. You know, like you know, 3D model like if Z is up or X is on. Oh no, X is usually the same, but Z and Y can need to change. All right. So yeah. So I'm going to hit uh, use my QWERTY keys to get these get these controls going. Make a nice big, nice big grass area. Okay, and and we're also gonna. I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking lakeside. You know, like a bit of something by the water is always good. So zero off the position first. Uh, move it, move it. Maybe. Uh, I do want to consider. I do want to consider where the origin is. So let's say you want to start by the lake. I'm not going to move the water too far from the edge of the lake. Maybe we'll move the grass over here. Okay. Okay, too far. Did I say too far from the? Oh, you know what I meant. Too far from the. Too far from the origin. Something like that. Okay, there we go. So we got this. We got this big old, big old lakeside. Maybe I want to put in a little, a little jetty. Got the rotation off, so I can, I can adjust that. There we go. That's looking, that's looking pretty legit. Actually, actually, what else I'm going to want is I'm going to want a little. Little footpath going alongside, going alongside our, going alongside our, uh, our, our park. I've been watching a lot of Parks and Rec recently, so I feel like Leslie Nope will be very proud. It's not going to be the world's smallest park, but it'll be a nice one nonetheless. Okay, I just got to zero this off on the on the x-axis. Make sure it's in the middle there, so that was. Scaling it somewhat, somewhat neat. I mean, we're really only doing this for testing, but we got a little bit of, despite being programmers, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of pride of what we're doing. All right. So I'm also going to add a bit of, a bit of height. I will mention one thing we want to consider is uh, AR, you, AR when you got terrain. How are you going to do it? Stop people from going through stuff and things like that. So we maybe want to move this a little bit far away from where people generally be walking when they start the game. Of course, unless we want to, unless yeah, I don't want to it, but unless we want to scale it, you know, maybe we want a little park where you're just like looking around it from a top view. But yeah, let's imagine that it's going to be a one-to-one -one scale. Okay, I'm going to put some lamps along the along the side of the lake here. 
I can press uh, Command 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, just duplicating that. That's Command D or Control D if you're on a PC. All right, go to this next one, put that one in center. Next one, just keep divvying, divvying up the distances. Okay, next one, we might go along here. It's starting to look pretty good. All right, maybe, hmm. How many, how many lamps? How many lamps is too many lamps? Let's say, oh, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, all right. Yeah, no, that's, that's that's perfect. Perfect, all right. I'm going to move this one just a little bit. A little bit oh, no, there's one more. Right. Okay, well, make sure that I haven't duplicated. Let's say one, three, okay. Yeah, now that's looking good. Oh, no, but there is an original one there. All right, that is a duplicate. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, make sure it's a little bit, little bit over. Um, yeah, okay, maybe, maybe a few little park benches would be nice facing the water. Throw one over there, one over there, maybe. Whoops, one over there. Mm, some double benches here for the families. And of course, you know, some people like to get married in these parks, so a little gazebo, perhaps. Make sure the entrance is a is a suitable direction. How's that looking? Yeah, no, that's looking pretty good. It's looking a little bit barren at the moment, so maybe I want to put a few trees up here. Oh, that's a big one. Is that a big one or a close one? Oh, it's a close one. <laughs> if we were making this in 3D, we wouldn't have this problem. Which oh man, it's a dream. I'm doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of work with uh, uh, editor VR a while ago, a couple of years ago, and uh, not a couple of years ago, a couple of months ago, and like it was just like so cool, so cool to be making 3D stuff in 3D or like tilt brush. Oh my god, it's like it's like I didn't even know that I could make 3D stuff. I always tried to draw on it; it never made sense. But then as soon as you put someone in 3D, it's like oh yeah, no, I do know how to do this stuff. It's kind of awesome. Okay, I'm just going to change the size of some of these as well. You make it look a little bit more, a little bit more genuine. Um, what else do we want? Maybe one of these kind of looking trees. There we go. Again, sometimes like maybe it's got to be close enough to be able to like a, uh, uh, snap to the snap to the plane, snap to the snap to the grid. Um, yeah, make this one a little bit smaller again. Da -da -da. A little bit da -da, a little mini tree. Put it down there. Make sure it's at least going through the plane. That's fine. All right. Maybe a couple of a couple of rocks on this side, because why not? There's one. I can duplicate that a couple of times. This one here. Maybe rotate it a little bit. I'm rotate it up a little bit, and then change the change the scale of it. Oh, that's kind of hey, a little overhang. Why not? Well, it's something. Maybe something you can go to sleep underneath it or something. There we go. Uh, okay, and make this one nice and big. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. Yeah, very. Uh, yeah, very, very much coming together. Obviously, we need a fountain. <laughs> um, <laughs> bins, of course. But this is a this is a this is a environmentally friendly park, so we will add ourselves obviously paper and glass bins. Better. Yeah, have them just alongside it. Oh yeah, no, that's that's lovely, absolutely lovely. Right, oh mate, it's kind of right next to the people though. That's a bit uh, might be a bit smelly. So what we can do is maybe uh, oh then there's a gazebo on that side. Yes, yeah, park design, man. This is a this is a legit legit form of form of business. All right, a little bit away from the benches, but still close enough to be useful, you know. And you know what? I'd say that's that's oh oh a little bit done, except for our jetty. No one's getting there. Oh. Grab the jetty, move it closer a bit. How's that? Yeah, that's good. And maybe we want a little boat as well. Boat moored up on a jetty so I can rotate that a little bit. And yeah, all right. All right, that's looking quite good. Where's the camera? Oh, yeah, okay, the camera, camera's a little bit, a little bit off. I'm gonna move the camera to be somewhere a bit more appropriate. We might even be, oh yeah, no, we'll, we'll keep the camera. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'm just looking at this camera preview down here. Okay, and and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my entire park because we are 
we are good citizens. We put our large environments inside a single game object so that when someone else comes along to work on it, they can hide it very easily. And also, what we can do, if we have it all in this one object, is we can resize it, we can scale it. So, you know, let's say you wanted to, you wanted to have an AR experience. I think I might have mentioned this. You have an AR experience where you're looking at a little park rather than a massive park, things like that. It'd be very easy to do if it's all in one object. Wonderful. Okay, so in, in next, uh, the next video, we're gonna, we're gonna work on these park materials. It's gonna be really good because, yeah, we're actually gonna work with, say, you're given a material, you know, it's got a whole lot, a lot of code in it. How do we sort of look through it and make sure that we're doing it right? And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go through all that. Awesome.